The Great Mutant Filter is a force which, I theorize, is slowly but surely killing all mutants in the Marvel Universe. But to better understand this, let's take one step back. If you're watching this video, that means that there's a really good chance you already know who the mutants or the X-Men are. But for the two of you who might not know, the X-Men are characters from Marvel Comics and they are supposedly the next step in human evolution. There are multiple factions within the mutants, with almost all of them having their own agendas and ideologies. But in the end, they all mostly have the same goal. They wish to better or advance mutant existence. And this goal seems to be almost impossible. In universe, the goal of advancing mutant existence is something that several different mutants have been trying to accomplish for several millennia now. And far more perplexingly, this problem seems to be multiversal. Now of course there are some universes in which the mutants thrive, but for the most part, the struggle for mutant liberation is not just a problem faced by the X-Men of Earth 616. And while I was thinking about this, I was wondering if there was a way to quantify why this struggle keeps happening. And I think I found it, a way to properly visualize why mutant liberation is so hard. To properly answer this question, let me pose another one. Why haven't we found any advanced alien civilization yet? Okay, I know that sounds weird, but just hear me out. There are several theories which try to explain why that is. And for today, let's focus on one specifically, the Great Filter. Here's how I can explain this process as best as I can. So the advancement of life in all of its forms is a complex procedure. Whether it be the creation of single cell organisms, the formation of tribes, or interstellar travel. And from a human perspective at least, these goals have been achieved pretty naturally. But the Great Filter Theory puts that into question. It theorizes that there is a step in a civilization's advancement that is so hard that the large majority of them could not overcome it. The question now being, has humanity already overcome this hurdle? Or is it still in front of us? That was a very simple explanation of the Great Filter. And if you want to learn more, I'll leave some sources in the description. So I think the idea of the Great Filter can be applied to the X-Men. Or in other words, a Great Mutant Filter. Of course, there are some differences. In the Great Filter, the filters themselves are internal threats. Things like the filter of evolution, the filter of tribalism, the filter of space travel. But for mutants, these filters are external. They are external threats who are trying to take them down. And there are already a few that we can identify, such as the filter of diverging mutant ideologies. Case in point, the clashing ideologies of Professor X and Magneto only help to make mutants fight each other. There is the filter of technology and AI, where storylines like Days of Future Past and the entire Krakoan era has shown us that Technology has the power to wipe out all mutant life through the use of Sentinels, Nimrod, and many others. And of course, there is the filter of human bigotry, which can take the form of civil, religious, or governmental action. Moreover, there are probably several other unknown filters. All these factors put together prevent mutant existence from advancing to a point where they can live peacefully and thrive. Or maybe this is just a very dumb theory, I don't know. But anyways, thanks for indulging me. I've had this idea in my head for a few days now and I'm just trying to quickly get it out. Anyways, the next video will be a lot more polished and a lot longer. So stay tuned. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.